Okay, so this is a video on uh, GCSE tips and how to pass your exams. Um, it's on units of measurement, so critical. Uh, you need to know lots of these. Now, my recommendation is obviously to draw out a poster of them, and then basically you're going to turn the poster over and try and copy it from your memory. Um, do that for a few days, turn it over, copy it out, turn it over, copy it out until you can do it again. Um, complete your poster without missing any out. So if we start with length then these are the main metric units so we're going to start with the metric ones. Now uh, we need to remember kilo means a thousand so one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters then we need to recognize that one meter equals a hundred centimeters and then one centimeter equals ten millimeters. Capacity. Uh, some people like to think of that as a volume, the amount of liquid uh, a body will hold. So capacity, we need to recognize again, do the metric ones first. We need to recognize that one liter equals 1000 millilitres. One litre also equals 100 centilitres. One centilitre equals 10 millilitres. Notice again language centi, hundredth. So there's a hundred tens in a litre. A hundred centilitres in a litre. Milli, thousandth. So there's a thousand of those in a litre. We also need to recognise that a cubic metre is equal to a thousand litres. So those are the capacity units that are the most common ones used in your exams. We've also got mass or weight and common ones again, the metric. So we've got one ton equals a thousand kilograms. Again, kilo, thousand, a thousand of them in a ton. One kilogram equals a thousand grams. A kilo, one thousand grams. Those are the main metric units that you need to know for standard units of measurement. We then need to recognize that there are some important imperial ones, the older units that are still in use today. So again, for length, we need to recognize that one inch is equivalent to 2.5 centimeters. Three feet is approximately one meter. So capacity. Oh, just remember. So uh, we do need to know for length that five miles equals eight kilometers, or quite often useful, one mile is one point six kilometers. That's quite a useful one to know. Capacity, we need to recognize that one litre equals one and three quarter pints. One gallon is equal to four and a half litres. The mass, we need to recognize that one kilogram is approximately 2.2 .2 pounds. One pound is approximately 454 grams. One stone is approximately uh, 14 pounds is a stone and if we divide that uh, by 2.2 .2, 
then we roughly get uh, 6, 6.2 is 12, 13.2, 2, so it's about 6.5 kilograms. So those are the common um, imperial ones that keep coming up in your exams. There are also area units. Now, these are more C grade and beyond, um, but they are important to know because they uh, can come up on both foundation and higher exams. So we have area units. So the best way to me to remember those is to think of a square. So a square meter is made up of a meter length by a meter length. So that's equivalent to changing it into centimeters. It'll be a hundred centimeters by a hundred centimeters, and a hundred times a hundred is ten thousand square centimeters. So one square meter is equivalent to 10,000 square centimetres. Now we can do a similar thing for centimetres. So we could have a square centimetre. So that's made up of a side of one centimetre by one centimetre. And that's equivalent to 10 millimetres by 10 millimetres. So 10 times 10, 100 square millimetres. So the area of a square centimetre is the same as 100 square millimetres. So 1 square centimetre equals 100 square millimetres. And volume units? Well, it's really important that we recognise that 1 litre is the same as 1000 cubic centimetres. Now we had a conversion up here that one litre is a thousand millilitres so this really means that one millilitre is equivalent to one cubic centimetre. But we also need to recognise again that we could have a cube made up of one metre by one metre by one metre. This would have a volume of one cubic metre and that would be the equivalent of 100 centimetres by 100 centimetres by 100 centimetres and again if we work out what all that multiplies to then we find that one cubic metre is the same as a million cubic centimetres and we can do a similar picture for cubic millimetres uh, into cubic uh, millimetre square uh, so cubic millimetres into cubic centimetres. So these are the most common units of measurements that you need to know for your exams. And I say, if I was to learn these and I don't know them very well, then I would be turning over the poster and I'd be on a fresh sheet of paper. I'd be trying to copy out from memory, going through, and any that I miss out, I would then fill in from the original poster and then I'd try again later in the day or the following day try to copy that from memory and do that for a few days then you'll be surprised that you'll remember all of them ready for your exams. So hopefully that's of use.